Hey friends, the day has come! Oculus Quest 2 is officially announced and it's ready for pre-order. In the US it will be shipped on October 13th and you bet I already pre-ordered it! Today was the Facebook Connect event and oh boy was it saturated with some exciting news about VR and AR. In this video I'll focus on Oculus Quest 2, but I do want to mention that Facebook is working on the first generation of AR glasses and they are planning to announce the first ever product as soon as next year. However, always-on AR glasses are calling for a complete paradigm shift because they need to be seamlessly integrated into everything we do and it will take years, even decades to integrate. So even if the first product comes to us next year, I don't expect it to have all the features that were planned by the developers, but it certainly would be interesting to see. And now for the Oculus Quest 2. It will feature 6GB of RAM and it will also weigh 10% less than the first generation. The headset will also have touch control and improved battery life. You can also buy a Quest 2 Elite strap to enhance comfort and adjust your headset better, and a battery pack with a carrying case. Now battery case I understand. There are some heavy gamers out there for whom 2 hours of VR gaming just won't cut it. But Elite strap? Why not make the original strap comfortable and ergonomic in the first place? Although I think I know the answer. The storage is increased too. Instead of a maximum 128, it now features a 256GB for a lower cost. You can pre-order your Oculus Quest 2 in the US for as low as 299 for 64GB and 399 for 256GB. It still kind of blows my mind. They lower the cost by a whole hundred dollars. Resolution is improved as well compared to the original Oculus Quest. 1832 by 1920? That's gonna be awesome! As an attack on Rift, developers promise that Oculus Quest combined with Oculus Link will lead to a higher resolution at a lower cost with up to 90Hz and some crisp graphics. If you enjoy working out in VR, prepare to be amazed. Quest 2 will include a system-level fitness tracker which will track your moves and workout progress in VR across different apps. A super convenient feature! So now if you play in Beat Saber and then you work out in Supernatural, Oculus Quest 2 will combine your results together as a single workout and then show your results. Gaming-wise, developers promise that Quest 2 will have a full-stream VR and crossplay. Rift users are probably a bit disappointed if they were expected that the Kinect event will reveal some updates about their Rift headset. But it's pretty clear that Facebook shifted all its focus on VR Oculus Quest as the paragon of VR content. There were also some titles announced for the new Quest 2, such as Warhammer, Jurassic World, The Climb 2, Pistol Whip 2089, The Walking Dead, Sniper Elite, and my personal favorite, Myst. Yes, Myst is coming to VR with even more secrets and mysteries and I can hardly wait to play it! Rejoice, Beat Saber lovers! Oculus Quest 2 is bringing to you the Beat Saber multiplayer! I'm not sure how it works yet, but it definitely sounds like something we all need in our lives. Also, it looks like they're adding avatars to Beat Saber. We'll see how that works out. There were also some unexpected updates about VR Workplace that Facebook has been working on. An ambitious thought highlighted during the event is that VR will soon become the next computer. And the first step they took towards it is creating a so-called infinite office. Coming in the next few months, Infinite Office will allow you to create your own virtual office wherever you are while still being present in the real world. Infinite Office offers you a large workspace with multiple customizable screens that are also integrated in the real-world experiences, sort of like mixed reality. They're talking about completely getting rid of physical monitors. You can set an infinite number of high-resolution virtual screens and attach them to a permanent position in your room, so that even if you turn off your device, you pick up right where you left off. Previously, it has been impossible to type in virtual space, and Oculus Quest 2 brings a physical keyboard into VR. I mean, you can seriously see your keyboard and hands and finally type. What? It's a totally new level! I'm still not quite convinced if it'll make me as focused and productive as my real office, because VR has this novelty factor, which is very exciting but also quite distracting. I expect it will probably take years until we can fully work in VR and not get distracted by all the 3D spaces we are at, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. But they are really pushing forward VR as a collaborative working space and not just a gaming console. What a time to be alive! So these were the highlights from the Facebook Connect event. If your mind is not blown yet, I'll be making a detailed review video about Oculus Quest 2 as soon as I receive it. Subscribe to my channel, you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Happy VR discoveries!